welcome to What We're Catching 360. My name is Mike. Thank you very much for joining us. And where are we fishing today? We are at Drafontaine on the Val Dam. And what I'll do is, is I will do a quick 360 degree turn. It is me, myself, and I. So uh, it's pretty cool in a way. Daniel's not here. He has to unfortunately work. Martin, well, he doesn't want to travel all the way to the Val Dam. I really want to fish the Val Dam. So uh, that's it. We're here. Last weekend we went to Carp Haven and we wanted to target some really good carps. The only thing we ended up doing is catching a whole load of bass. I think we caught about 30 odd bass, but uh, no big carp, just a bunch of bass. But you know what, it was a good day or a good weekend nonetheless. Then we were at Red Flay. Prior to that, the whole day we sat fishing and literally as I thought, okay, you know what, nothing's going to happen. I started packing up. Last things to come out was the rods. Literally GoPro packed away, cameras packed away, and I caught a nine kilo fish. So unfortunately I didn't film that, I just filmed it on my phone. But hey, that just is what it is. Today, however, we are here. We are going to, uh, fishing a fairly shallow um, area of Drafontein. So I've picked the right side as you come in down here. Turned into the right, and that's just basically where I'm fishing. So you'll see the ground here is fairly um, flat, if I can put it like that. So it is shallower water. But that's just what I want to fish. Hoping to catch a grass or two. Hoping. Um, I did chat to a couple of guys, did chat to Jumbo as well. So Gumtree and FX, apparently that works. So we are going to give that a try. And then you know my normal good old standard stuff. But um, that's it. We are set up. I'm going to cast in, get ready, and uh, hopefully we catch those fish, man. Okay, so on the short rod, I've got a Padabay floaty there. And I've got a gum tree floaty with my garlic dough that side. Then I'm going to pop some gum tree on. So I'm not really a somebody who fishes with gum tree. So uh, yeah, that's a new thing for, for me. Then obviously some FX. And if I can get it to not spill. So lo and behold, this one, obviously I've got Bessie Bass and uh, Crazy Pine on. The garlic floaties, that's really it. There kind of sort of seems to be something on here, so we shall see. This short rod that I threw in now, the so as you can see, my box is a mess. Yep, I forgot to clean that thing. As I cast it in, it was halfway out and then the line wrapped around an eye and snapped, so now I'm just busy rebuilding. Let's see, hopefully something nice on this one. So check it out, man, we got a little bite on this. It's one of those twitchy little ones. So I do suspect it is my favorite. A little yellowfish. Let's see. If it's one, is it on? He's on. Oh, he's fighting back a bit. Alrighty. So what I've decided to do today is to put my net in the water because, uh, ah, you know what, why not? Let's tally up all the fish that we catch for the day. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, oh, can you believe it? Look at that. A yellowfish because there is not enough of these things in the dam. Alrighty, so there he is. Hopefully we don't catch any more of these things. And I know we're not supposed to keep them all in the same net, but just, you know, we're having fun. In you go, boy. Small rod again with, what is it they have on? Crazy Pine and FX. It's just pulled again, so the line is, <clears throat> sorry, lying slack in the water. I'm busy eating Kabanossi because it's lagger. And uh, I bet you guys, yellowfish. I'm saying yellowfish, let's see. Here it comes. Let's see what happens. All right. So we are on with this little boy. It feels 
a tad better. It's not either this is a tad better or this thing's stuck. One, one of the two. I actually don't. <laughs> I actually don't know. Let's go see. Nah, that's stuck. I can know, man. Yep, that was stuck. <sighs> well, let's try it again. Not definitely small yellow fish on this here. So that's just dropped straight into the water. Come, do something. Beer, beer, beer. Boink! <laughs> on! Yes, we have him! Small one, again. I reckon there's about a 90% <clears throat> chance that he's a yellow fish. So, small net, let's go. Check the wake. Oh wow, how was that guess? Another yellow fish. <laughs> well there is, getting a little bit bigger at least, but we are not here to catch yellow fish man. Thank you my dude, here you go. You see what I like about these nets here? Yeah? Is there's the hook, and it literally doesn't hook out. These are really cool. So, as you guys know, this is now clipped in on my actual stand, and then I've already pre compressed this ball. And then, as you know, to put it on, just put your finger there in the middle to so find the middle of this and just slide your line through. So, basically, cut it. Pop your weight in, just mold it around quite nicely. And because this is going in shallow, like I think I'm sounding like a broken record now, it doesn't have to be perfect. But there's its spin. So I've only got one hook on here now because I've lost three traces already. And uh, so let's see. On there, I am using the new Jumbo test products, this test floaty. But what I'm doing is, is I'm putting two floaties on there. And that's obviously because I'm fishing with one hook now because I don't want to get stuck on whatever is here in the water. So one goes on like that, one like so. Then I have my, 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 my little garlic dough over here. So the recipe for this is in one of my videos. Please don't ask me which one because I can't remember. And that goes on like so. So this is basically what we're presenting the fish with. And then on top of that, a little dollop of gum tree. And we'll finish that off with some FX. Let's put a stripe there. And work it in. Okay. There we finally have it. My long rod has pulled tight. And I'll show you what I had on there. I had Jumbo's Plascon and Pink Sweets. Don't know if you guys can see that. And, oh, there she wants to go. And lipstick floaties. Hopefully, guys, this is a better fish. Let's see. Oh, there is something on. Not big. But let's go get it. Nothing for this one. We'll just take the big net with. 
just in case. There we go, putting up a little bit more of a fight. I think let's keep it right here. And just broke loose. Oh no, man. Up, oh, broke loose. Ah, oh, no. Why does that happen? All the hooks are on, the kites on. Oh, well. This is my little setup that I have for the day. Yeah, so I've just got a little. Um, this isn't docks, this is a Daiwa little umbrella that I bought at the fishing shop. Got my chair, little table, uh, cooler box obviously, so um, you know what, that's adequate for me. And then obviously the rods, the stand, and the little net that's in there, the, the kip net. And that's it guys, don't make it difficult for yourself when you come out and worry about tons of things and all of that. We only really bring the gazebos when we are, obviously there's more than one person. But I mean, this for one person, if you want to come out, quick, simple, easy, and that's it. So I thought it was time to bring this uh, long rod in, my razor, because nothing was happening. Meanwhile, have a look at that. I have a little fish on. <laughs> Alrighty, that makes sense. Let's get the net, get him in the... Oh, get the net and get him in the other net. Check that. Did not even know this little boy was on. But, in the net you go, young man. So while I'm busy making a mealy bomb, this little one over here, my short rod, there seems to be a little bit of interest in. Or in it. So we're going to set up this one so long and just wait and see what happens, man. Might be nothing, might be something, but I will let you guys know. So this is called a AccuLED. So Henny Briet, who does the AccuLines for us, he also makes these AccuLEDs. So what this is, is it's basically a back weight. So I'm going to show you how this works very quickly. So when you are fishing, there's obviously a lot of sludge, especially at places like Rudokopis and that, and you want to get your line over all the nonsense that that there is. This is how it will work. So, usually what we'll do, I'm stuck. So, usually what we'll do, we have the stand or the, we have the peg over here. And you can see that it's connected to the rod. So imagine all this being your sludge. That's sitting over here, this is what you want to get over. Now obviously you need to get your lines in the water. So what this does, it works exactly the same as a AccuLine. So we'll take this, and you'll clip it onto your line like so. There we go. This, in turn, is your little rope. So that will lower into the water, like so. So there, Actually, it goes into the water like so. This then, in turn, you just place that anywhere that you want, like so. So there it is. No mess, no fuss. All your sludge and algae sits over here. So this is basically a backlet, and that is from Henny Briet. Yeah, is his number right over here. He makes aculines as well. There's the aculeds, and you know what? We use this quite extensively at Rotor Copies. We've tested it out. Works very well. Right, so that's how it all sits over here. And obviously when you have a strike on, or when you have a fish on, it works exactly like the, the um, AccuLines that just pulls out. There we go, there's your line. Pull your fish in, stays over there. When you come back, just clip everything in. So these work very well. Give them a shout if you're interested. Like I said, these are called AccuLeds. And uh, yeah, we think they work quite well. Lo and behold, on our little one, which had Crazy Pine, Bessie Bass, and Padabay on with a garlic floaty, this thing just jumped. Again, 9 out of 10 times a small little fish. Let's see if we can coax him. 
obviously now that I stand here to try to catch a fish they just disappear because they don't work along with me <sighs> temperamental eh? something something has happened and it's dropped <clears throat> let's see just just come up just do one little thing come up off the water out of the water something now <sighs> Boink! <laughs> there we go. We have a fish. Let us go land him. Come now, come now. Here he is. Let's see, I have no clue what this is. I want to go yellow and yep. <laughs> another yellowfish of course why would it be anything else look at him <sighs> I don't know if that one counts we'll see about well a couple of months back around about february uh we were at fun drills and asked you guys what tires are pretty good if it is general grabbers so forth and so on so i ended up getting new tires and i thought i'll show you while i sit here waiting for the fish to bite which they just aren't so anyway i bought myself a pair of pirelli atr scorpion so it's the atr plus and uh, check these out These are some seriously cool tires. So all I can say is I've driven on a lot of sand roads, uh, quite some rocky roads as well, a lot of mud. And they've actually held out quite well, so well, I'm quite impressed with them. But uh, that's just me wasting time because I am sitting, like I said, waiting for these things to bite, and they're not. So I don't know what you guys do to keep yourself entertained, but I have been on Facebook, I've read emails, I've looked at the app to see if it's uh, going to be a good day. The app says, oh, it's going to be a fantastic day. Yeah, sure. And um, hey, that's it. So now I'm just wandering around. What do you guys do when the fish don't bite? Off topic completely. There's a new energy diet. Strawberry and cucumber. <laughs> Give it a try. Not bad. So one of my other very favorite um, dip combinations is Vix, Luerty, and these Musk Floaties. So I want to put it on my long rod now. This is going to be the last cast for this one. I've got it on my short one now as well. And uh, you know, it's about half past two in the afternoon. So uh, last cast and uh, let us hope we catch a fish. Again, fishing with one little floaty. So that floaty will go in like so. I'm just going to lightly just pop it in like that and then the Luerti and Vex you don't have to use a lot of this you literally if you can see there literally use a drop like so so that's nice so this is going to last you a very long time and then Luerti same thing just on top of that you just put a little bit like so and that is that this is going to go in as far as I can get it and hopefully we catch something On the last video, I caught a 14 and a half kg carp, right? And that was fairly big. <sighs> Have a look what I've got now. Not exactly 14 and a half, but there we go. And that's what bit today. Whoops. And if these little guys bite, well, that's just what we're going to catch. Two yellows in there, and uh, this one plus a yellow that I lost. Four fish for the whole day. Can you believe it? That brings our day to an end. So this is going to be a very short uh, video, but hey, you know what? That's what fishing is. It's not always about catching the big fish and the most fish and all of that. Some days are just very quiet. Today was one of those days. So um, caught four fish, netted three. We lost another yellow because I was stuffing around with it. 
and um, hey that's it guys that's all that I have to say so some days you catch a 14 and a half kilo and you feel like you are on top of the world and everything's great and then uh, you know all you got to do you just give it time and then uh, you almost blank and you catch small little fish so that's just what it is that's life but hey guys thank you very much for joining and uh, thank you for watching thank you for subscribing i do really appreciate that so where we're we going to be next i have no clue when it's going to be hey we'll see but uh, if i know myself fairly soon i need to get out and come fish again but guys that is it for myself i'm going to pack up it's about three o'clock now i see there's a bit of weather coming in so i still got to travel home and uh, yeah, but, hey, that's it. And as always, take care, stay safe. We'll catch you again. Grow hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.